Hey, good morning. We're here with Bijou Thomas uh, from Scratch Labs, and we're at the Rice Cake Factory, as it is, at the uh, Hyatt Ballroom, where... Uh, this is a rice cake sweatshop. The, the <laughs> yeah, they're, they're uh, hard, at, hard at work making rice cakes for the riders. Um, Bijou, can you just tell us a little bit about what's going on here today? Yeah, we've, uh, during this whole um, tour of California, we've been making rice cakes every morning. Uh, We've got some of our classic bacon ones going here, which are our savory ones, a little salty, a little vinegary, a little sweet with chunks of bacon. And then we have some fresh berry ones over here, which are sweet uh, mascarpone, some fresh berries, a little honey. We try to do one of each every day, and we're doing a total of about 300 rice cakes that we'll make. Um, and then at some point, the soigneurs will come over from the different teams, and they help us wrap them, and they figure out how many they want for each of their riders. So we've been doing that every day for all the boys. Yeah. What does it take to make uh, 300 rice cakes a day? Um, it takes, well, we travel with these two huge rice cookers, and we have uh, four people making rice cakes. And then, you know, uh, that's what it takes. And we kind of pretty much take over a, a section of the dining room wherever we go. We're taking over the kitchen, taking their um, pans and equipment out of their house, and yeah. And this year, Scratch became like the official food supplier or food, how would you say, yeah, it, not provider, but... It, we're kind of jumping into all fronts of nutrition and hydration, uh, working with the individual athletes. So we're not just throwing a bunch of money at it and, you know, from far away. We're actually here every day feeding the guys, you know, changing out their bottles, seeing what else we can do to help them with their sports, you know, with their nutrition and hydration needs. We can make things on the fly or change things or, and it doesn't have to be stuff we sell or make. I mean, whatever it is, we're, we are able to pay attention to the riders and get them what they need. Right. In, in, your, in your own philosophy, like how does the rice cake differ from the, the prepackaged you know, food sources that most cyclists are accustomed to. Sure, yeah. I mean, the biggest thing is what you just said. It's not prepackaged. So, and what happens there is these have a higher moisture content. So automatically, right off the bat, we're using fresh cooked rice, um, tons of more moisture, so which means it holds together. It's easier to chew. You can take a couple bites and swallow it and get yeah. it down. You don't need a gallon of water to drink. So right off, you know, right off the start, it's just something you're actually going to be able to consume and get the calories you need. And most of this, a lot of stuff is all coming out of, um, you know, of course, you've now had your second cookbook come yep. out after this feed zone. The same sort of thing can be found in the in the cookbooks for yeah. regular people to know how to make. Yeah, them. absolutely. I mean, our food is all just very normal, everyday food. There's nothing that's really sciencey or, you know, sportsy on the food side of it. Once you get to making this stuff, everything is just a handful of ingredients. Everything's one or two steps. Everything's very common ingredients. And we did that by design. There's like, there's no reason to make really cool stuff that nobody else could ever make. Yeah. You know, we were like, we gotta make food that is absolutely everyday normal food that people can actually make at home, and that's what we came up with. Just for the sake of the numbers, in terms of the the riders usually consume on a day, in yeah. terms of calories and stuff, how do these things equate to like what a rider needs? Yeah, yeah. Day? So the rice cakes and the stuff we do is just a part of the overall day because most of the guys, if they're burning through four or five, six thousand calories, depending on the temperatures and the heat and the efforts they're putting out. You know, these uh, rice cakes are about 150 calories or so per, depending on how big they are. So there's only so many of those you're going to be able to eat. Um, but they're part of the overall day with the gels and the drinks and everything else they're consuming. Most of the guys, once they're going, they'll probably have at least one to two an hour of these. Oh. And is there a difference in terms of what the rider gets out of it between the sweet or savory? Is it just a matter of personal? It's just personal just preference. Right, right, right. Yeah, there's a little bit more of a fat content, obviously, in the savory because we have a little bacon in there. But that's really, we don't really push the protein or fat so much. It's purely carbohydrates and flavor that we want. Repeating 128 riders a day, if you were telling me a little bit about this the other day in terms of you now go to the hotels and actually kind yeah. of like you, can you just cut quickly about how sure. Scratch has kind of redone the kitchens at the hotels? Yeah, absolutely. The um, One of the biggest things we've been able to do is work with AEG who puts on the race to kind of reimagine how the athletes are taken care of. It used to be that the riders would show up at these random hotels be huge buffet lines just like if you were here for a software convention you know it'd be heavy on the proteins and the gravies and all the cheese and kind of you know progressively less and less productive for what athletes need so having you know background as a cyclist and then also having a background as a chef who's done banquets for years I've been able to figure out you know just the simplest thing that they can pull off that is the most effective for what the riders need. 